Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, and the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, President William Samoy Ruto, my colleague C.S. Salim Vuria, Honorable Members of Parliament, Excellency Governors, allow me, Your Excellency, to begin first of all by congratulating Gov Governor Gideon Maita Mungaro for inviting us for this very momentous occasion. This really for me is a, an important conversation and largely a game changer on our economic conversation in our region. Your Excellency, I wouldn't want to take so much time. I know presentations have been made and you're likely to give us a lot more information. But I want the Kenyan people to know that in Kilifi here, there is, number one, enormous potential in the area of mining. Your Excellency in Kilifi, probably in the entire coastal region, besides uh, where Governor 002 comes from, I think in the deposits of limestone, you are competing. And therefore, uh, we are now hosting one large cement factory. I have uh, licensed very recently another one that will set up here in the Chonyi area with the support of uh, the area member of parliament. Your Excellency, Ken Chonga is the one that brought investors to me. And I want to, to appreciate his effort. Your Excellency, um, in Kilifi here, we have uh, witnessed after the air, geological, physical, um, geophysical uh, survey was done. There were many occurrences, but we are aware that there's huge deposits of manganese, lead, and obviously almost 40 or 50 percent of the salt that is consumed in the country comes from Kilifi, Your Excellency. There is also, you know, Your Excellency, you appointed me a CS for mining. I'm learning a new mineral every day. So there's a mineral called phonolites that has tremendous potential here. Obviously, silica sand, because of uh, the production of cement on uh, where Paul Katana and Kenga Mupe come from. Um, every house probably that you see in Kilifi, the coral building block is locally produced. And I believe strongly that is in, as a program that supports your housing program, Your Excellency. And I want to encourage that uh, we organize more young people, put them in cooperatives, and encourage them to manage the process as well and, and be able to create some wealth. Your Excellency, that what surprised me is that all along I've been thinking, because Best Titanium opted to settle in Kuala, that Kuala may have had a huge deposit of titanium. Obviously, over the period they've proved, that they extracted quite a bit, but I want to report that uh, the occurrences on titanium on the belt of Kilifi are as big or even bigger than, the, than what has been extracted in Kuala. <laughs> Your Excellency, in our EEZ for fishing, which has a potential of about 300 billion that is untapped, Kilifi hosts a fair share of that potential. And I want to, I, I feel encouraged, Your Excellency, that uh, Governor has signed an MOU with the Kenya Shipyard to be able to support our fisher folk, particularly artisanal uh, fishermen and women, to be able to be more productive. Your government, Your Excellency, has invested heavily in supporting some programs, such as building fishing ports, uh, here in Kilifi, in Malindi, Your Excellency, you negotiated on our behalf as the Kenyan people for a much larger investment that you probably announced it yourself at some point that is, uh, we have unlocked and hopefully soon we will be able to get a uh, consultant's design and be able to, to realize that potential. Your Excellency, I feel very encouraged uh, with one particular one memorandum of understanding the governor has signed with digital opportunity trusts. 
so that we can monetize our content creation. The country must be built by hard work. It must be built by commitment. And therefore, for us to realize the potential we have, number one, government can create its support infrastructure or infrastructural support. But or often the, what changes the game is private equity when it is injected in our economy. Because our young people need jobs. We need to be able to create wealth. We need to be able to uplift the standards of the lives of the people. That can only be realized by true hard work. And therefore, I feel encouraged that we must have this meaningful conversation on how we can turn around our economy. Your Excellency, Abdul Samad thought he's the only one who could speak Swahili. And uh, he sees the moment. Katoa methali moja tu. Ya kusema, kusema nini vile? Ukiona? Sasa yeye amesema ukiona vaolea. Nataka nimwambie hiyo sio Kiswahili. Kiswahili ukiona vaelea. Si ndio hivyo? Vime undwa. So nataka niwambie tu ndugu zangu kazi ya kujenga inchi si kazi rahisi. Na those that are in government including including the president akijenga don't ever assume for one minute that because I'm a minister what I do in my workspace I am doing it for myself. We are doing for the current and the future population. So it is important that we all realize that every Kenyan, in one way or another, they have a contribution to make. And I want to urge all of us, we sell our country positively. We sell our country positively. And I want to repeat some sentiments I said earlier. I was with the president in New York. And one, one of, in one of the meetings when we were trying, I was trying to sell the blue economy space. 90% of the questions that were being asked are informed from some space in social media. Like we could not really ans answer. And we are only asking that let us be responsible. It is, it is our country. We cannot have another Kenya. One year wasted is far too long for the future generation. So Nataka too, because there's a lot of private uh, sector voices that I would term credible in this conversation, Tafadali, inform the rest of the world that Kenya is ripe for investment. Kenya is ready for investment. We have systems that work. Kenya is a liberalized economy. There's a lot of space to be able to secure yourself and do business. Mweshimiwa Rais Mr. Kwandelea Zaidi hapa ni seme karibu sana huku vipingo and governor you've showed us the way Mngaro. I hope the next one we'll be able to invite the president to do a jumuia one because you are interdependent. Ni kutakie kila laheri governor na ni kwambie me and you have, dis have discussed in certain areas of potential in mining. Your Excellency, we have uh, progressed three companies from prospecting to mining here in Kilifi. And they have reported to us they are likely to employ not less than 6,000 of our young people. So hopefully when they are backing around, Your Excellency, will allow, I'll invite you to come and officiate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Waziri. Uh, allow me, Your Excellency, uh, to also invite uh, Right Honorable Speaker, Honorable Amazon Kingi, uh, to also share his remarks.